everybody, back with another video, episode 2 of this new series, For the Horde. Uh, I wasn't so animated in my last video, so I'll try to be a little bit better uh, this time around. I think I fixed the desktop audio issues and maybe made it a little bit better for uh, my sound on my mic. Uh, I hope you liked the transitions in the last video. Got a little bit into DaVinci Resolve, and it's got some really sweet uh, video transitions that are available for free. Uh, so that's really cool to work with. It's got some features that I love, some that I don't, and the same with Movie Maker uh, Platinum, which is what I've been using for years. So I think really what it is is just me getting used to DaVinci Resolve, but we'll keep moving forward with that one for a while and, and see how it goes. So we're going to load in here and uh, work on some more questing and maybe play a dungeon in a PvP match. So I think we'll actually start out with a dungeon today. I'm just going to uh, queue for a random Lich King dungeon. Um, it's a really good way to get gear. Uh, not that I really need to be focusing on gear right now uh, as a level... I don't know what I am, 13 now or something like that, but we'll queue and play through one. It should be some, some decent content. So I started a pretty interesting quest line while I'm waiting for my dungeon to queue up here. Uh, basically, I got stunned by this dude who's working for the Lich King, and now they're going to take me away somewhere and reanimate me. So that sounds a little crazy, but it should end with a pretty cool boss fight. So, uh, yeah, I'll cut back in when we're there. Uh, never mind. This is super interesting. So, I don't know. The dude's getting lit up right now, so I'm just going to throw my... <laughs> my own assistance into this uh, don't think I'm gonna help much honestly all these dudes just like sprouted um, the search is taking long yeah that's fine we can play other expansions don't need to play just Wrath of the Lich King alright looks like it's just me and this dude now so let's just toss a trap give him a couple kill shots hit him with a couple bleed arrows two of those guys and then kill yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Concussive grenade. Make him bleed. This guy's pretty strong. How much health did he had? 6,000. Which I think is quite a bit more than me. And the big shot. Boom. Oh. Alright. Alright, so we're going to enter a dungeon here. Let me just kill this guy so we can go ahead and get in. It's an Arath of Lich King dungeon, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I've never played before, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record... Uh, through the dungeon entirely and then I'll edit it in the long run so we'll see oh, yeah, this is pretty good later. pretty decent gear at a low level that's super unfortunate didn't mean to pull that guy Get Save the target. how are you and see you around so unfortunately I pulled when I wasn't supposed to pull and that's unfortunate so sometimes I feel like I, I rather play warrior or paladin. I don't really like playing paladin because you're, you're pretty responsible for uh, leading through a dungeon. And I don't love that. Um, but I really like playing a warrior or paladin because then I'm right up in the action and not so far away. You'll see, like especially as I'm just starting with this hunter and he doesn't have a whole lot of spells to, to affect. Uh, the fight with, I'll be like dipping in and out of the fight which is you know getting too close and not really great so we'll see if I can get better at that so with my mage I did something I had never done before Harthenden had a lot of gold I found a pretty good way to farm gold um, with uh, I'm sorry I'm, I'm concentrating I found a pretty, pretty good way to farm gold and that's just by selling bind on equip items that I pick up through dungeons or questing um, through the auction house and uh, it gets you a good amount of gold pretty fast so I pulled it I shouldn't have um, so anyway so I had a lot of gold built up on Harford and that guy there and uh, I was able to buy BOA gear which is like basically gear that'll level with you up to a certain point so I think you can upgrade it costs a lot of gold to do so but uh, to level with you all the way to level 50 I need to get close and so that's really helpful I need to talk um, but I didn't do it with this guy because I didn't I didn't find that it was like that much worth it to spend another 50k on gold um, so I, I didn't we'll see how that plays out for me I think you can get pretty much just fine gear doing it this way um, you do wreck in battlegrounds right off the right off the start there when you have BOA gear because you pretty much outgear everyone else, uh, which is really dope. I 
I had the uh, damage uh, DPS like it shows you what DPS you do uh, compared to the rest of the members in the instance or on your team. I might download that again. I kind of like seeing how much DPS I'm doing comparatively. It lets me know if my rotations are good and if I'm really as big of an asset as I can be. So I might download that again. I think there's ways to use it properly and I don't know if I always use it properly, like reading the values that it puts out well enough. So that's a, that's a thought. But maybe in the next video I'll have it up and running. I don't have a target. Alright, so I had to kind of leave the team for a second. Uh, I realized that I hadn't collected the uh, research that's required for one of the quests in this dungeon. So that's kind of the, the, the thing with running through a dungeon for the first time, is you get the, uh, the quest for the dungeon. When you run through it subsequent times, you don't get those quests. And so you got to pay attention to that as you go through. And that's, you know, I forgot. So. Alright, so it looks like we're getting to our first boss. This will be pretty exciting. we got to get through his little uh, other NPCs that guard... Silence, interesting. That guard the boss. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, here we go. We've engaged the first boss. So we'll see how it goes. I don't think I have any interrupts, which would be really helpful if I did. Uh, but we'll see. I wish my concussion. That's bad. Wow, that's really lucky that we're locked in here. Okay, which one is the bad one? I See, this is what I'm talking about. The Pally, whoever's played this before, should really mark the one we need to focus on. Stunned. That's unfortunate. There we go. First boss defeated. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Maybe. Now to finish nope. the job. Gosh darn it. And frozen fire bombs. We gotta interrupt it. There we go. Nothing good. Mail, that's pretty good. Item level 40? That's huge. That's pretty dope. Most of the item level stuff that I'm picking up in this dungeon through the quest are just item level 20. So, that would be nice. Alright, we're coming up on our third boss here. Maybe our second, actually. I think it's just our second. Yeah. Just our second boss here, so we'll see how this fight goes. Um, these lower-end dungeons don't really have any, like, game... Somatic... Yeah. Game, um... Man, what am I talking about? Uh... Well, I can't remember. But anyways, they don't require you to do anything extra when you fight the bosses. So, you just kind of have to fight them and stay alive. What am I? I'm trying to think of what I'm talking about, and I just can't. That's interesting. Oh, shoot. So, like, that's one uh, that just showed up, right? The... The rift that he opened, and I think you need to be mechanics. That's what I'm thinking about. I think you need to be behind him whenever he does that. Otherwise, you're gonna get wrecked. Still nothing. 30 armor, or item level 50, golly. Alright, so now I need to be on the lookout for these arcane splinters. They're probably things that I have to pick up uh, from the ground, but we'll see. They might drop from monsters. Yeah, they do. I don't, don't have a mind. ton. I wish I had, like, multi-affecting arrows or something like that. I need like a that. target. I don't think I do. Alright, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Arcane Splinter. I need five of them. So that's another thing I didn't do at all with Q 
making a Velen is I didn't uh, have any like skills like mining or cooking or anything like that. I just didn't focus on that with him, and I think it's beneficial at least again for farming gold. So that's what I'm working on doing again. Okay, corner and mushrooms. People need things a lot, like you know this kind of farming of really simple stuff. And so I think that if you farm the early stuff, whether you use it or not for your own uh, crafting or, or whatever your skill is, people will pay pretty good money for it. So uh, that's the goal with herb gathering going forward. But it'll have to wait until after this boss battle. So this is our third boss battle. So I'm just kind of focusing on my rotation right now. That's going to hurt really bad. Probably use that a second too early. Let me get out of here. Avoid those things. And kill command. My pet is dead. Shoot, that's really not good. Oh, nice. Item level 20 pants. Soulbound. Yeah, definitely better. Yep, 100% better. Okay, I gotta call back my pet. I'll do that. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I don't think I'm gonna get uh, what I need. There we go, I will. Okay, let's call back my pet. Five pet. herb gathering stuff pretty full of my backpack too so that's gonna be a problem preserve why there's no truth in it no no in no. the final <laughs> boss for this dungeon so let's see what we can do I see that now Of course, I'm the only one that got rooted. Stay. Enjoy your final. All right, so my pet's dead. He keeps dying in fights. I don't know what that's about. See if we got anything. Binder. We did. Item level 22 gracers. Shoot. What can I get rid of? That. Maybe not that. That. Pretty dope. So my eye level on my character now is item level 13. Not hugely great, but not terrible. Uh, he's probably got BOA gear on. He definitely does. That's why he's got 6,000. Oh, he's level 46. Why is he with us? Super weird. Alright, got all the quests completed, so now I just have to turn them in. But the problem is now is that I've got no one to sell gear to. to you. Safe travels. Ooh, that's very nice. And last one. You need something? See you around. Item level 22. Nice. A lot of my gear went from item level 13 to 15. Gained quite a bit of health. Um, so that's pretty dope. So let's see what this is here. Call pet. Summons your third pet to you. No, that can't be right. I don't know why that's there. 
Let's just see what happens when I do that. Yeah, I must dismiss my current pet. I don't know why we have that. But we're doing pretty good, so let's head out of the dungeon. That was uh, our first dungeon run on this character. So we'll head out of our dungeon and then head over to uh, Ogremar and we'll sell some things on the auction house and see how we do. Alright, so we made it to Ogremar and this is the auction house. So I don't really know the layout of Ogremar at all, so I still gotta ask around a lot. But that's alright, let's see what we can sell and uh, what Have we can I get got for a deal it. For you. So you just get a sell right here, and then start adding in your stuff. So let's try to sell some of our armor. I don't think I'll get a whole lot for it. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, no, no, no. That's, this one's item level 50. That's why it's so expensive. So let's sell it for like, I don't know, 250 gold. Just see what happens. If everybody's crazy enough to buy that for 250 gold. Uh, item level 13, I kind of doubt it. These are I level 33. This one's I level 13. So maybe 65 gold. Might surprise you. You never know. Okay, that is not worth anything. So we put it down. And that's kind of just how I do this, right? I go through it. Uh, this is health. I want to keep those. This is mana. Uh, that's not really worth anything either. So anyways, I'll sell these once, and then that's an item level 33 for 520, so let's sell it for 125. Um, and if anything comes back to me in the Pushmaster mail, then I'll just um, sell it to, to a vendor. Well, let's see what this is. Uh, summon a ring of light on a specific location that lasts for three minutes. I don't really know what the point of that is. Other than it just being funny, and you can bask in your <laughs> own glory, so uh, that's just like a little trinket, and I think I used it, so it's gone. That's my one use of that. So I think this is what happened. Um, basically, when I completed that dungeon, you get uh, gold and then like a satchel full of goods. And my inbox or my backpack was full when I completed the dungeon, so it just sent it to me in the post master mail. So let's check out and see what we got. Um, pretty sweet helmet, better than the one I had, so that's pretty dope. It looks okay, nothing too crazy, but uh, increased my health a little bit, so we'll keep that. And we'll go sell that last piece, and uh, I'll make my way back to where we were questing at. Alright guys, well, while I wait for the Zeppelin to come pick me up, bring me back to the Wrath of the Lynch King area to continue the questing here uh, we did pretty good today we got through a dungeon and we finished up at level 18 not sure what we started at today I uh, got our item gear up a little bit and then our health so we didn't get to PvP unfortunately I think that's just gonna be too long of a video but I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the dungeon gameplay and uh, we'll definitely be back soon with the next episode we'll throw some PvP in there and some more questing and we can see what we can get uh, gear wise for our guys so uh, thanks for watching if you want to see more content like subscribe and comment for more bye guys